In this video, we're going to show you 35 new or improved Roll20 features that make playing and GMing better on the latest version of the virtual tabletop. Let's dive right in. The GM hamburger menu now gives quick access to more settings, game links, and bug reporting, giving more control at the click of a button. Right-click context menus are smarter, servicing common in-game actions, including some that used to require keyboard shortcuts. Group actions allow you to lock or move multiple tokens at once, saving you time and clicks. The new Enumerate Tokens feature auto-labels selected tokens with numbers, perfect for easy enemy tracking. Advanced Transform tools let you disable grid snapping and token menus, ideal for setting up NPCs or objects like furniture or scenery that don't need them. You can now rotate and resize objects with greater precision, including half and quarter cell scaling, flip tokens vertically and horizontally, and use the V keyboard shortcut to quickly view all tokens you control. Super helpful in dark rooms. Need more control when setting up scenes? We've added Redo, in case you accidentally get keyboard happy and undo something you shouldn't. Use page-specific Control or Command on a Mac, Z and Y shortcuts as much as you like to get things just right. When pasting multiple objects, they'll space out automatically for easier selection and movement. You'll also notice immediate feedback when dragging to select, granting you precision and better visibility over what you're trying to do. The token marker menu now includes a search bar, a bigger viewing area, and a clear all button, making these handy in-game visual aids easier than ever to use. Zooming now follows your cursor, and holding shift gives you finer control for extra precision. Panning has also been unrestricted, so you can place objects off page, visible to GMs only for later use. Got a busy map? High contrast scroll bars can be turned on in VTT settings to improve visibility and make it easier to move around your page. Use the recenter map button to reset your view and hold down shift while using it to reset the zoom to 100%. Now, when players load into a page, their view will auto-center on their controlled token, making it easier for them to find where they are. Page settings menus have been overhauled for ease of use. Your heading now shows the active page name instead of my page, so it's easier to tell where you are and access settings, which have also received a glow up, making it easier to control everything seamlessly. A brand new build a map button connects directly to free map making software Dungeon Scrawl, letting you create maps with advanced tools that sync automatically to your tabletop session. Perfect for planning ahead or improvising on the fly when your party goes somewhere that you weren't expecting. This awesome new feature is easy to learn and turns anyone into a cartographer in minutes. Turn order now auto sorts new entries by initiative instead of dropping them at the bottom of the list, so you don't have to resort them manually. The new hide reveal tool replaces Fog of War and is available to all users, providing a free, cleaner, and easier interface for managing visibility mid game. Doors and windows are also easier to set up and maneuver. You can now copy and paste them and use multi-select to open or close many at once. The new dynamic lighting tool consolidates all relevant settings, updates your map in real time, and includes tooltips for easier setup and to teach new users how it works. Enjoy animated darkness effects when setting a scene. Diagnostic information can be found in the tool's footer and shows tokens with vision and light sources for quick troubleshooting if your lighting isn't working how you hoped. Preview as token and explorer mode can be found here now too. GMs can now multi-select tokens and toggle vision through the right-click context menu on pages where dynamic lighting has been enabled, saving time and clicks. Finally, effects tool 
Previously, a subscriber feature is now available to all users with a refreshed interface, a new library of visuals to choose from, and better click and drag gesturing and measurement. Subscribers can access advanced customization options, allowing for unique particle effects tailored to any scenario. When dragging large images to the VTT, you'll get a prompt that offers to switch you to the map layer. I can't be the only one who always accidentally drops my maps as tokens. The new foreground layer found in games created by subscribers renders above the token layer and adds depth and dynamic interactions to your games, allowing foreground objects like roofs, treetops, and overlays to obscure the map and tokens in your campaign. Reactions, another new feature in games created by subscribers, allow objects to fade, disappear, or appear out of thin air based on token interactions. Surprise your players with hidden passages, traps, surprise encounters, and more. Conditional fade is the first of many reactions to come. We have more on the way that will interact with chat and help trigger automations in game. Use the new command slash RH in chat to raise a hand during gameplay, to ask questions, bring an idea to the group, and more. We've expanded support for animated file types in chat, so you can entertain your party no matter the occasion. Speaking of animations, the upload process is faster and more intuitive, now with support for batch uploads and better error messaging. You can also multitask while your uploads are processing the maximum file sizes for both images and audio have increased for all users. In the journal, handout text input and GM notes fields are three times larger, making writing and editing so much easier. Character sheets and characters in your journal are also easier to use in the new tabletop. Shift and double click on tokens to open their linked character sheets easily. Minimize sheets now reopen properly from both the right-click menu and the journal tab. You can duplicate characters and handouts in just two clicks, less than half as many as it used to take. For D&D fans, use both the 2014 and 2024 5e character sheets in a single game, picking your preferred sheet for characters and NPCs. Prefer other systems? You can use demi-plane character sheets for supported games like Pathfinder and Cyberpunk right alongside Roll20 native sheets. Plus, Roll20 subscribers now get full access to Demiplane subscription benefits at no extra cost and can enjoy cross-platform sync, allowing you to purchase eligible titles once and play them on either platform. Finally, mod scripts can now be included when copying a game making setup way easier for repeat campaigns. All of that, and we're just getting started. Check out the links in the description to stay on top of future updates and share your suggestions with the Roll20 team. Happy gaming, and thanks for watching.